Hey girls! Hey everybody, it's Linnea. This is my favorite song lately that I like to share with everybody. Hey guys, just here to show you a few tips with your flat iron today. I've had a lot of requests from my clients on how to curl your hair with a flat iron. It is a little difficult at first, but once you get it, it's a snap. It's a snap. You'll never ever forget it, it's like riding a bike. Once you get it, you never go back. There are a few little tips that I want to teach everybody um, just from experience and doing hair with my clients that I would love to share with you. So feel free to just watch and enjoy it. If you have any other requests for videos or any comments, please leave them below. Thanks. So I just let my hair air dry and um, the tool I will be using is a GHD flat iron and yes, you can curl with it. It's awesome. It's the best tool on the market for this. Rat tail comb is a must. A uh, basic clip, whatever kind you want. I stick Moroccan oil in my hair while it's wet. This keeps my frizz down, makes my hair beautiful, and so does straight from Bumble and Bumble. Super fine hairspray from Orbe I use on my hair while it's dry as a heat protectant. So as you can see, my hair is pretty crazy when it just air dries. This is air drying, people. This is not scrunching. Oh yeah, and I got some extensions in there, so don't be confused why my hair looks different in the front. It's supposed to. So I'm going to start by taking a vertical section around my face, clipping the hair out of the way. I'm going to take that section and you can see those lovely extensions in there. And I'm just going to comb through this section a couple times with my tail comb. You know, you just want to get it detangled and get all the hair going the same direction. It really makes for a way more beautiful curl. I'm going to take my GHD iron and I'm going to put it in vertically. This is going to make more of a vertical curl. So you're going to stick it in, twist it, and then pull it straight out. I've slowed it down so we can kind of see it. So I'm going to stick it straight in, clamp down, and turn it so that the hair is curling away from my face. And then we're just going to pull it straight out. My left hand is just guiding the hair. It's just making sure that that hair doesn't slip out of the iron. So you just want to go really slow. Obviously this is in slow-mo, so don't go this slow unless you want a really, really tight curl. But So you're going to curl it like that, and then I twist it around my fingers so that when it's cooling, it cools in the shape of a curl. So here it is one more time again in slow-mo. You just stick it in vertically, twist the iron, and then pull the iron straight out. You're not wrapping the hair around the iron. It's different from a curling iron in that way. Okay, so here I am curling the back, just showing you I'm just taking pivotal sections around my head vertically. I'm spraying them with the heat protectant and then taking the iron, going in vertically again, and I'm going to straighten a little bit of this hair because my hair is so thick and curly and I want it to be straight at the root and then curly towards the ends. So you stick it in vertically, twist the iron, and then pull it straight out again, and then use your hand to just curl it, and it will cool in that shape of a curl. See how nice that looks? Nice and bouncy. And I'm not trying to do a kinky curl today. This is just a wave that's not a really tight curl. If you wanted it to be tighter, you would just go a lot slower with your iron. Okay, so here we are on the other side. Got some sections already done. I just want to show you way, the way you do it on this side. You just twist it, and you're curling it away from your face. So basically, when you stick your iron in, you're turning it so that that hair, here we go in slow-mo, you're turning it so that that hair is going to be curled away from your face. And that extra hand in there is, again, just guiding the hair so that it doesn't go flying out of the iron. So you go pretty slow. I mean, I think a lot of times people go too fast, and that's usually why it doesn't curl very well, and it just straightens the hair. Okay, moving on to the bangs. My bangs are a disaster. Okay, so my hair is textured, wavy, whoop, and... Here we go, let's get down to business here. Just taking a little section, I have to do these in sections because my hair is so thick. 
Um, so I'm just putting like a bend in my hair. I'm not curling them under because I don't look like I'm straight out of the 80s. But I don't want them to be stick straight either. And I'm going to also just kind of straighten them here just to blend it in with the sides of my hair. As you can see, if I don't, it looks like a hot mess. And you guys can do this same thing if you have a side swept bang or even face framing. You know, they look the best a lot of times if you have just a slight bend in them and they're not like really curly or stick straight. People come in with stick straight face framing or bangs and they're like, oh, my bangs, where are they? I can't see them. I'm like, well, you just straightened them. They're blending in with your straight hair. So if you want to see them, they need to have a little bit of a bend or a curl or something going on with them. I prefer to keep them smoother. Here is one of my favorite products for dry styling. It's called Fiber Groom from Orbe. Just take a little swipe of this stuff. This would work with any kind of paste or I suppose a wax would work. This stuff's kind of weird. It has some weird, like, stretchy, weird texture. But anyways, just putting it in the roots. This is just to give my hair texture, give it a little bit of a grit so it doesn't fall. And just to give that curl... Um, a little bit of hold too so that when I kind of am going to be styling it, the curls together, they stick together. Um, put a little bit on the bangs and now I'm just taking sections and, and just kind of smoothing it down because I prefer a smoother look. You could stick your head upside down and wave it around and, you know, back comb it and get all crazy and that hair would expand, but I tend to like a smoother look. That's what I'm going for today. So there's the finished look. Hope you liked it. What'd you guys think? That was me just playing around. It took about 10 minutes, so it wasn't too hard. I uh, try to keep everything pretty quick, pretty, pretty snappy, pretty to the point. I don't like anything drawn out as far as my hair goes. I like to spend a little more time on my makeup, but that's a little bit more precise. With hair, I like to just get it done. Um, after I did that video, I kind of let it set, and then I brushed it out. And a lot of you would think, why would you brush out your curl? You wouldn't want to brush it out. Well, I do. I like it a little bit more relaxed, as you can see. I like it a little bit more with a wave to it than a crazy kinky curl. Um, the curl look is fun, but for an everyday look, I kind of like it a little bit more tousled, a little bit more beachy. Um, and the way you get that is you do a nice curl, and then you brush it out and kind of just finger toss it and get it some body. So um, hopefully that helps. Ooh, stop. Sorry. <laughs> you be quiet down there. Anyways, everybody say hi to Louie. Say hi, Louie. Hi. No, 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 no. Hey, that's my lipstick. Ah! He likes my lipstick. He likes to lick my lipstick. Lickstick. <laughs> <laughs> my goal for these videos is to just share some of the tips that I've learned in doing hair over the years and also Louie, what's wrong? <laughs> and also just um, share a few ideas of just how to put together a style um, a lot of my clients ask me how do I what do I do I have no style my hair is limp my makeup sucks my whatever and it's like well okay first of all you gotta look in the mirror a little bit and figure out what you're frustrated with so you can work on it because everybody's got something whether it's a blemish or a wrinkle or whatever and um, my thing that I always tell my clients is find something you love about your look whether it's your eyes whether it's your lips whether it's your jawline, we're gonna, you know, do some contouring, or <clears throat> if you love your eyebrows, you know, don't do bangs like me, you know, show them off. Because some people have really great eyebrows, and I'm jealous of those people. But find something that you love about yourself. Find a feature of your face, find a part, a way of styling your hair, find something that you really like. And if you honestly can't think of anything, find someone who loves you and ask them. What looks good on me? What's your favorite part of my face? <laughs> Do it. It'd be a great confidence booster. But anyways, once you find out that thing or a couple things, 
accentuate them, feel good about them, go for it, you know, Put, pop a bright lipstick on there, um, you know, do some fun eyeshadows or, you know, fill your brows in, do get some bangs, do something. And that's the goal of my tutorials here and all of my style tutorials will be to just kind of help focus in on key things to help you figure out how to have a style and how to put things together, how to look at a photo of a celebrity or someone that you admire and go, how can I create that look? And take the pieces of it and match it to yourself. It's not that as hard as, a thing, as you would think. Most of all, have fun with it. If you get just frustrated all the time, you're not gonna stick with it, you're not gonna enjoy it, you're gonna dread it. You gotta find something fun about what you do with your look that makes you look forward to it and makes you wanna do it and makes you excited about it. Excited to, you know, see if anyone notices and just even if no one notices, it's for yourself. It's for you to look in the mirror and say, wow, I feel great about the way I look. Because you should. <sighs> Come on, work with me here. And always, 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 always remember, beauty is not what you see in a magazine. It is not what you see in the Victoria's Secret runway show. It is not what you see in the department stores plastered all over the wall or in Abercrombie or wherever you shop. Beauty is more than lipstick. It is more than bangs. It is more than volume in your hair or whatever, long eyelashes. Beauty comes from who you are, what you live for, okay? Just don't forget that real beauty is not what you see on the outside. It's what's inside. Because if you got the most perfect makeup on and you open your mouth and a bunch of garbage comes out, nobody cares what you look like. They don't want to be around you. So fill yourself up with good stuff, good thoughts. Good. Surround yourself with good people. Surround yourself with fun people, people who teach you to have fun, how to enjoy life, how to make the most out of life. Pfft. Hello, life's too short not to. Hope you liked my video. If you have any other questions, message me below, comment, like, thumbs up, tell me how much you love me, tell me how much you hate me. I don't care. I'm not doing this for you to love me. I'm doing it because people have asked for it. Well, you have a great day. And on that note, let's end with a song. I mean, does it look like my face is in a box? Okay, that's all for today. Hope you guys had fun, learned something. Watch for my next video and give me some ideas if there's something you want to learn, okay? Peace!